Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick and welcome back to the Express Tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about making a jar file. A jar file is the file that you need to put in your mods folder for your mod to be able to be playable. So just go into your terminal and then we're going to dot slash and then we're going to grade lu w space build uild. All right. Now it only does take a little moment. The larger the mod, the more thing it's got to go through. Smaller the mod, it's pretty small. We only just got two blocks and a couple of assets, so there it is, 10 seconds. So sometimes it'll take probably a couple minutes, depending on how large your mod is. But we do now know how to make decorational blocks and stuff like that. Um, but now, what do I, now what do I do with it? Uh, and where do I find it? So it should be like on your desktop. And if we go into build, your libs, and then here is that jar. I'll copy it to my desktop. And what I would need to do is I would need to find all the information. So if I go in here and I look up the fabric installer, and then you'll have your installer for your Minecraft, and then you'll have to download for Windows, and then you will uh, open it up. <coughs> And you're going to need uh, to know the Minecraft version and loader version. All that information can be found in your Gradle lot properties in which you will have your Minecraft version and loader version. So here we can tell that they are actually the same. So we can hit install and make sure that nothing in Minecraft is open when you do this. The last thing that you're also going to need is your dependencies, which is called the fabric version and version 84 for 1.20.1 so let's go on to here and let's look up the fabric api for 1.20.1 and then we'll go into curseforge i would click on files and then look for your version 84 for 1.20.1 and then you'll download it in which it'll end up in your downloads you're going to need to put everything in your mods folder so if i put in a uh, percent app data percent and then I go into my Minecraft and then I'll go into my mods you are going to want to make sure that everything is then in your mods folder since you have that fabric set up you will be able to open up the launcher and then load up and then everything in your mod should be there if you ever want to update your mod all you would need to do is simply just increase one of the numbers you can change it however you feel I normally have the version that I have uh, and then you would have an update coming from that version and at the very end if you have a hotfix so if I have an update it's usually the 1.0 and then an update would be 1.1 but if there's no new features but I needed to fix some bug fixes I would do 1.1 same thing I make an update and then that update has problems so I need to fix them so I do 1 2 but then if I actually add new features it would then be 2.0 you probably should get the point from there. Then when you find the selected version you want, then you can hit the elephant. And then when you build the file again, it'll then make the new build file inside of your libs. Just swap out the old, uh, you can delete the old file from there unless you want to keep it. And then just put the new one inside of your mods folder and then you should be able to play. All right, here I am in my Minecraft, the official Minecraft, not the loader version. And I have my mods. So it's going to load up the world and then I can hit my little E key and then I go to the next page and then here we can have our animated and our regular block. So it does work in the official Minecraft, which is pretty cool. Well, that should be all it for this video. So if you have any questions, you can ask me down in the comments below. But with all that in mind, thank you guys so much for watching and without further ado.